Hey friends, Jeff here with RV Optimizer, and today we're going to look at the future of RVing a little bit here. I've got Nathan from Lightship, and he's going to take us around and show us really what uh, high-tech, futuristic RVs can look like. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for swinging by the booth here at Electrify Expo. Um, right here behind us, we have the prototype of our flagship product, the Lightship L1. This is an all-electric travel trailer, and I'll tell you a few things about it that make it really cool. So first off, you can see it in what we call camp mode. So right here in camp mode, it's going to be 10 feet tall, um, and you're going to have a lot of space when you get into the inside. We'll show you more about that soon. But when we're traveling down the road, this whole upper portion of the RV is going to shrink down to this crease right here. It's going to be just taller than I am when we're traveling down the road. That's going to allow it to follow the aerodynamic profile of the tow vehicle that's in front of it. Over on this poster here, we actually have a little bit of a picture of what it's going to look like when you're traveling down the road. So there you can see it shrinks down to be quite a bit smaller than this RV that we have in front of us right here. Now, another thing that's really cool about it is actually um, built into the axles of the trailer, we're going to have electric motors. Those electric motors are going to spin the wheels on the trailer and push it down the road. So it's not fully reliant on a tow vehicle to pull it, but it's doing almost all of the work of pushing its mass down the road. What does that mean for you? If you have an electric vehicle, that's going to mean you have a, an extended range compared to towing a traditional travel trailer. Or if you have a combustion engine vehicle, you're going to get significantly better fuel economy than towing a traditional travel trailer. Awesome. You want to hop inside for a tour? Let's do it. Great. Okay. Come on in. Welcome inside the Lightship L1. So one of the things that people first notice typically when you hop inside is gonna be just how many windows there are inside of here compared to a traditional RV. So as you can see, we have pretty panoramic views out of every single window that we look. Additionally, we're gonna have about si uh, seven and a half foot interior ceilings in here. This is gonna be taller than a lot of RVs uh, in, in a similar kind of size. So over here in the front, I'll kind of go over the layout. We're going to have about a queen size bed. You pull this white tab, a piece extends out, a cushion pops up. You'll have about a queen size bed there. For an additional sleeping area, you can put a push a button on this table. It'll drop down. You put a cushion on top of it. You could sleep an additional two people there. And then not shown in this specific model, but there will be an option to actually have a bunk bed that drops that down out of the ceiling. You could sleep an additional two people up there. So depending on how you configure, you could sleep up to four to six inside of here. Moving on, we have uh, some wireless chargers here. This whole side we call our storage console. So in here, you're gonna have just a bunch of storage that's held in with really sturdy magnets so nothing goes anywhere on the road. Then over here, you're gonna have your trash and your recycling and more storage down the rest of the storage console. Over here, the storage continues with some U-shaped storage that plays around the plumbing. Then we get to our freezer over here we have the first of our two refrigerators. So as you can see, you can fit quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, nice. And then this is my favorite part of the kitchen. Over here, we're actually gonna have a pretty sizable dishwasher. Very cool. The reason we included that is because it's more water efficient to do your dishes in the dishwasher than it is gonna be doing them in the kitchen sink by hand. So it's actually a water saving feature and uh, very convenient when you have the power on board to be able to do so. Then you have a microwave and an induction cooktop. Uh, just to clarify, this is an all electric trailer. So all of these appliances that you're seeing and everything inside of this RV is gonna be fully powered off of uh, electricity. Back into the bathroom, we're gonna have um, you know, your standard RV toilet that's gonna go to a black water tank there, a partition divider that drops down, and then a luxurious rain shower. So no more of that camper van experience where the shower head is uh, hitting the water on your chest, but uh, everyone can be comfortable there. Um, Obviously, you have full privacy whenever you want it, so you can't close the back window, and we do have blinds that go up in all of the windows, so you have full privacy whenever you want it. Another thing that's really cool is this entire huge roof above us is all going to be covered in solar panels, so you have 2,000 watts of integrated solar into the roof. You have an additional 1,000 watts that are available via a solar awning, so you can have two to 3,000 watts of solar that'll help power up everything that you see inside of this RV. You can actually self-sustain for how long do you think like off the grid? What we say is, is, is up to a week at, uh, week at a time off the grid. And that's gonna be running everything you see in here. So that'll be lights, your water pumps, keeping both refrigerators going, your freezer, running the dishwasher, taking showers, uh, cooking, microwave. And that'll be a, a family of four is using all of those appliances for, for up to a week. So, and, and what we find is at that period of time, uh, you know, the thing that's going to be primarily driving you back to society is going to be, oh, I need to go get some more water, or I need to go get some more food from the grocery store. I need to take out the trash. Typically, it's not going to be power that's going to be the thing that, yeah. that, that causes you to go back into a city. <clears throat> so AC or heat as well? Yes. Um, 
So that's both going to be included. Uh, it, it actually functions via a, a bi-directional heat pump that's going to be located up in the tongue box area of the trailer. Um, that's the same technology that you'll find in most EVs nowadays. Got it. Now, these are selling now? So right now we are um, accepting uh, reservations. It's okay. a $500 fully refundable deposit. That would secure somebody's spots towards the front of the line. Um, these are going to be going into production uh, later this year with first deliveries happening early next year in 2025. Got it. Can you give us a ballpark on what uh, like the model we're in would go for? Yes, so we actually have our pricing right okay. here. Um, so there's two models. There's the L1 Essential, which starts off at 125, and then there's the L1 Long Range. The interior of both of those models are going to look exactly the same. The only difference is going to be that the L1 Long Range will have a 80 kilowatt hour battery pack instead of a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. And the L1 Long Range will have the uh, electric drive motor that's going to help propel the trailer down the road, where the L1 uh, Essential will not have that drive motor. Beautiful. And I'm assuming go to a regular car charger and recharge everything? Yeah, so that's the great thing about it is there's tons of ways to charge up your light chip. So like I said, you have solar panels on the roof that are always charging it. You can charge it from an EV supercharger. Uh, where we'll be adapting the NACS charging standard. You can charge it from a 50 amp hookup at a campground. You can charge it from an extension cord from your house, although that will take a while. Yeah. Uh, it even has regenerative braking built into it for when you're going down a mountain pass. Very cool, very cool. So people want to learn more about it. I'm assuming you guys have the website they can go to. to... Absolutely, so the best place to go if you want to learn more is head to lightshiprv.com. Um, and there's tons of information about the trailer, the company, and if you wanted to place a reservation, that's a great place to do so. Beautiful. Well, Nathan, thanks so much for taking us. Yeah, thank you for coming by for a tour. I appreciate uh, it. Thanks. All right.